What? This is the caboose. This is so cool. <laughs> and this is Adeline, our now six year old. But most of you already know her. And this is her little brother. His name is Isaac. This is my beautiful wife next to me and their mother, Bree. And lastly, I'm Nate. Hey, just my dad was a camera. Together, we are Baby Swimmer Maxwell, and these are our adventures. Were you surprised? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a surprise. I'm surprised. This is really cool. Well, that's nice. Oh, I'm going to need my filter. <laughs> I'll just put, I'll stand right here. They'll be like, I can see you right there through the window. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> don't you have the key? They gave us a key. <laughs> I think you need to go ask them for the key. I can't hear you. Well, yeah, during a tunnel, someone. And then, yeah, and I would be like, I would jump out, out the back there. window in the. And we can sit up here though too. Yeah, those are cool. That's, a, that's the next goal. That's, that's what I want to sit on. I want to see what's in yeah. there. Oh. It's not. Oh, wow. For like the little kids? Or the or little the kids at hard? Uh, or a big kid? <laughs> okay, so this is the craziest thing. This is super cool. <laughs> I want to look that So, Brie, explain to me what I just showed you. And I mean, obviously, I'm going to show everybody your reaction here, how surprised you were, but. Uh, that is so cool. Dang it. So we got on the caboose on the train and it's on the train that you face the outside, not the one you face the front of train in order to ride the caboose. Yeah, so you have to wear the, the I'll, I'll show you guys later, but basically where the seats Insert picture all, here. Yeah, all the seats are facing outward. And we had a handful of people in here, but now we it's have it us. all to ourselves. Yeah. And uh, this is super cool. It's different. And out of all the times we've ever been to Disneyland, we've been coming here with the kids probably. Come I've, sit. About every other month. It's 2018. Mm -hmm. We've been coming here. It's 2023. So it's like five years. And we have always ridden this train because we like the forward facing caboose or whatever forward-facing train yeah. but we've never actually been in the back i've never even known this was back here uh -uh. so you actually have to ask has it been open this whole time i assume so so i was watching david at fresh baked post about it and i was like how come i've never even noticed there's a caboose back there yeah. so so he surprised um, me so i was like i told her i was like we got so we were actually waiting to get in line right here in in uh new orleans new orleans square, square. and i i said no no we got to be on that that exact train yeah. So we so, rushed over to Tomorrowland, and then when we got up there <clears throat> to get on the train, he goes, can we sit in the very back? And I'm all, the very back? I didn't think of the caboose. I thought, like, the last <laughs> open <clears throat> train car. And he started walking back towards here. I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, where are you going? Right. So, so yeah. This is well, cool. It's really neat. It's a little stuffy in here, so they do got the windows open. Yeah, but show them back there. But what's really cool... We can't get back there, but... Obviously, you can't sit there, but that's, like, totally made for, like, kids who want to look out. It has, like, little lookout windows. That would be so fun. Yes? <laughs> that would be so fun to, to do. I mean, obviously, you can't go back there. The door's locked. But... We have the whole thing to ourselves now, though. This is cool. Good. At this time, we need everyone to you want to take a nap? Seat and stay seated. <laughs> you totally could. Inside of the train. All right. Parents, guardians, please be good. Oh,
Street Station. Is what it looks like inside the caboose. All right, everyone, we're making our way to the station. Pretty cool, because it makes you feel like you're actually looking at, like, an old-fashioned... Yeah. <laughs> like train ride, the train ride <laughs> through <laughs> the Grand Canyon or prehistoric times. <laughs> Getting off here? Yeah. Coffee time. Main Street, USA. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. Thanks. Enjoy your child-free day. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> All you have to do is ask. Disney break, middle of the afternoon, and we're at the Starbucks right here in downtown Disney, mm -hmm. getting some much needed coffee. Yes. Because we don't have the kids, and they're not gonna ask to sip our coffee, because <laughs> we have a bad habit of letting our three-year-old enjoy coffee, so uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, coffee break time. Coffee and then break. over to DCA to yes. try some more food. We're over here down Hollywood Boulevard, and Brie is gonna try out with our coffee, not mine, I don't have much left, but the tiramisu churro. I've heard from a lot of people it's really good and she loves tiramisu, so um, what better time to try it. One of my favorite desserts. I'm gonna take the one with that the most looks pretty darn good. drizzle. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're fine. Go oh, we're it. good. Go. Yeah. Oh, she loves it. I was looking for the coffee flavor. Does it hit like on all, like how tiramisu should? No? I thought I would have tasted a little bit more coffee. Right. The drizzle on top is really good. No. The, the powder on the outside is a little bit bitter, um, which is nice because you get that coffee taste and then the drizzle on top is sweet. So it gives it a good... The espresso is like really like a bitter, a bitter bean like a bitter uh, coffee bean sprinkled on top. So it's kind of what I'm tasting like. So it's a pass for me. So this one is the petite burrata. It's grilled ciabatta with tomato and olive jam, burrata cheese, pesto, and freeze dried balsamic. Holy cow. I'm looking forward to this. We live close to the Napa Valley, so we know what like good like fresh Fresh olive oil on the bottom. Fresh cherry, olive oil, mozzarella. Burrata. Tastes like mozzarella. <laughs> and I got stuff on my nose and. Um, you can't tell. Pesto. I need to stand and this way. I don't know what the on top. It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like a. Um, What's the salad that we get? The Capri salad. It's kind of oh. like that, you got pesto and everything. It's good. I like this. I would definitely buy this again, and I will finish this one more time. If you were in the mood for something a little bit more Italian. The olives kind of ruin it for me. I didn't even know there were olives in it. I could. Yeah. The olives 
are a little bit overpowering. I'm not a big fan of olives, but it's good. It's good all together. So it's a question to buy it again. No. No. Uh oh. And this one is the crackers and cheese. It's house made herb cracker with white cheddar fromage blanc, spicy salami spread, and cherry jam. You get the creaminess from the cheese, and I love the sweetness from the cherry. And then the herbs and the crackers come out. It is a little messy because you bite down on the cracker and everything like comes out. Kind of like a s'mores. Yeah, but it's good. It's cherry. Cherry. That's definitely the like savior of this. Yeah. Um, it kind of swoops in and takes over the flavor. Helps it to not be so. But the cheese, I mean, kind of reminds me of like, when you go to one of the food like, parties and they got like really elegant cheeses and stuff from like Trader Joe's or something. Yeah. I would not buy it again. I think the herbs are too overpowering. Too, too overpowering. This is happening, so we're on. Hey, howdy, hey! Welcome to our practice game. You gonna do it, Bree? But obviously, I I need to have my hands, so we'll see you guys when the ride's over. Woo! I told you I got I got two five thousands. It was the little bats. But I gotta say, Brie, you did pretty good. Uh, my accuracy is always better than yours, though. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, this ride is so I fun. I forgot how Why do we not? Fun is oh, it? because we have kids. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we never do it. Woo! That was so fun. That was so fun. Man. Oh, uh, this is fun being on a date with you. It is. I love you. This is so pretty down here. Find your best friend and never let them go. <laughs> you got the cluck a doodle moo. And this is where you get the habanero chicken wings, uh, which we tried with our friend Alyssa. And we got the barbecue brief, brief, barbecue brie biscuit. Brie. Bar barbecue brie? Bar barbecue brie. So it's a barbecue beef brisket slider with Fiscalini Farmstead smoked cheddar with dill pickles on salt and pepper brioche. All right. It looks delicious. Looks like it has some like crunchy onions on there too. You know, you won't really be able to tell from this video. Yeah, crunchy onions. Come over here. And we're having to find refuge from the rain again. Again. But at least it's a light drizzle, so. The weather lied. I'm not too big on this one, but we'll see how she likes it. I mean, it's a beef brisket, so I mean, it's gotta be kind of good if it's like smoked. The thing that's really got me is probably the pickle. I think the pickle is what like, is gonna seal the deal for me. Ah, I nailed it, I knew it. It's the pickle, right? Mm. It's what seals the deal? The, um, it's not overpower overpoweringly smoky. Sometimes that gets me with barbecued food. So it's perfectly smoky. You have the saltiness from the cheese and the tanginess from the pickle. I really like this one. Okay, would you buy it again? I would buy it again. Yeah, because it's also not too sweet with the barbecue sauce. So, I'm gonna take one more bite. Okay. Very tender. Mm-hmm. It's good. If you That's want pickle. barbecue. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more bite, and then, it's all about that pickle, ma'am. It, it brings it all together. I, I don't know why I knew that, but like I knew that. Because you barbecue. <laughs> you're right, you're right, I do. 
That's good. I'll let you finish it because I know you primarily want to eat it, but um, smokiness is not too too crazy. That uh, barbecue's, barbecue is more of a tangy barbecue, not sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, the bread's nice. Uh, you got a little bit of that uh, crunch from the onion. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the pickle just kind of seals the deal. Kind of like a Chick-fil-A sandwich, how you just need that pickle. You need that little like salty tanginess to kind of step in there and just boom. Bring all the flavors together. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I would possibly buy it again, not 100%, but. If you're here and you feel like something that's like barbecued. Yeah, but I would definitely it. say get it once. And uh, if you're looking for something more filling, definitely. Mm -hmm. The IPA hot dog with a pretzel bun. We already tried this yesterday, but we're back for it again. Which answers the question, would you buy it again? Hell yeah, I would. <laughs> And I am buying it again, which is why I'm about to eat that for dinner. This is new though. This is the guava leche mule. I like mules. I like guava. So it smells good. It, lo it looks like it needs to be stirred. So let me uh, stir it up. Yeah, you're fine. It's not like I'm holding the camera and your food. Well, you're looking at me like you're waiting for hurting. me to try it. Hey, you're good. That's good. We opted out instead of doing the passion whatever drink. Yeah, you could definitely taste that there's alcohol in it. The passion um, rum, we got this instead because Brie really liked it. If you like sweet cocktails, definitely go for this one because the guava is pretty sweet in it. It's not overpoweringly sweet, um, but it's definitely like I could, I would go for it again because I love guava, so. And I apologize for the lighting because it's nighttime here, so. Yeah, so we're just doing our best to make this happen. Yep. I am gonna try the flower and bees. Uh-oh. It's like a fruity version of the honey flavored drink over at Pim's Test Kitchen. It's just, it's like honey, but it's very florally. So yeah, I, no, I wouldn't order it again, but it's not, it's not, no, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's just, in it. I know why I don't like it. Well, I mean, it's not bad, like you said. Okay, so this is the flowers and bees. It has gin, elderflower liqueur, lemon juice, honey, hibiscus, and lavender syrups garnished with a purple pansy. So it's the lavender in there. I'm not a fan of lavender. It's not overpowering, but just... It's too many syrups for me. It reminds me of soap. And I would definitely not order this again. Yeah. I think we're gonna have a hard time drinking this much. Yeah. It's just it's just too it's too syrupy. Not enough alcohol. But yeah. we can fix that, right? No. <laughs> Overall we did the not the entire food and wine festival, but we did a lot. We did. Spent a lot of money. And I'm gonna thank say thank you to our Patreons because I think we're going to use some of that money to pay for this because because Bree's a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was your favorite thing, Bree? Oh, two favorites. I'm gonna say two favorites: the sirloin steak, okay, with the which, chimichurri, which you got twice. Insert here. <laughs> I'm pulling an eight, and I then the the mac and cheese. Yes. The one with the pep the bacon on top? Yes. I think those are two by far my two favorites. Those okay. are the only two that we actually ordered twice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Everything else was a meh. It was good eating it, but it wasn't something I would go back for. Yeah. yeah. So for me, I would say easily the shrimp and the rice. Sorry, I just had a sip of your drink. It oh, just tastes like Oh, come on. It just that bad. It tastes like soap. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> um, the shrimp and the rice. That was that and the garlic mac and cheese. And then Yeah, no, I would say that because the hot dog, the hot dog was good, but it's like it's like yeah, we don't have to go well, into that. That 
one for but, me, I just wanted to taste more of the sausage. So, yeah. Everything but else. I would say overall, and this is a perfect spot up here, we can eat the macaroon. Mm -hmm. Unless the macaroon knocks out the park. Um, but yeah, I would say overall, the, the best two was definitely the shrimp and definitely uh, the, the, the garlic, the garlic mac and cheese. That was, that was really, really good. I kind of regret not getting the, gar uh, the shrimp again, but um, okay, worst, worst thing that you ate. Ooh, worst thing I ate. Your churro. <laughs> no, that's my, no, that wasn't even on the menu. The churro wasn't bad, it just wasn't. Sustainable for a full meal. I couldn't eat the whole thing, it was just, anyways. Okay, worst thing you uh, ate. The worst thing, I honestly would probably have to say the cheese and cracker sandwich. It was okay, but it was just too much cracker and too much herb tasting. Right. Yeah, I don't, okay. that's the thing that comes to mind. Not long and hard about it, and I can't really think of anything specifically that was really bad. I mean, we avoided like the, the, the artichoke pizza thing with the, uh, with the, uh, oh, it was called a pizzetti. Yeah, with the with the. Um, There's a there was a few things we did not try, so but out of everything we did try, I think we both have to agree that our least favorite. Yeah. Not a thing we hated, but the least favorite was the the cracker sandwich. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna try the macaroon last because my favorite drink. Oh. I do have to say my favorite drink was the. Is that? Is that the Caliente? It was the Paloma. Because that one had like the tequila with the pineapple. I think by far that was my favorite. And surprised, my favorite drink was the rye drink that me and Alyssa were downing. It was, what was it? It was, it was that cock, uh, cockle doodle -doo. Yeah. I'll have to insert the name or insert the picture, but. It was the one with bourbon in it. It was bourbon rye and it was really good. It was really different. So maybe I'll have to start drinking bourbon. <laughs> so the last thing on our list is the Snickers macaroon. I've had this one time before, but I only had a little bite of it, and I had it with Ralph. So, I liked it before, but I only had a little bit, so now. You, shall, you have to insert the clip. Yeah, I'll drop that clip in there. Someone's already taking a bite of. So, courtesy of the. You broke the, uh, the magic, Nancy, you broke the magic. Sorry. So, cur courtesy of the Disney California Adventure, um, what, what is it, wine and sip, or sip and save, or whatever it is, the, the wine festival, there it is. Oh, yeah. Daddy's missing out. Tell him. Look at him. So, oh, let it sink in. There it is. Basil. It's a bit nutty. <laughs> I go high seven. Thank you. That's Thank not bad. You. This bump, strong seven. <laughs> what it, what it, remember we were judging it? We were like, a good eight, a solid eight. Me and Ralph both said that. Yeah. Yeah, so we're it's, gonna try it again. It's big. Yeah, I it's don't know how big. we're gonna. It's enough for two people. We might have to get like a Ziploc bag and put that in there to bring home. It's a uh, Snickers macaroon, and it it looks like it looks like ice cream, but it's ganache, right? Mm. That is crazy how much it does take like a Snickers bar. That's how it's it's so good that the. The cookie on the outside is super soft. And you can taste the peanut butter. There's peanut butter in there, right? Because there's, we're well, not peanut butter, but like the nuts. I taste a lot of the caramel. From I the like, so the macaroon on the outside, it's really like, like a dry cookie, but very, very soft. And then the inside. That was a terrible explanation of a macaroon. I love you. <clears throat> okay, well, it's it's a very soft cookie. It's, a, macaroon is a, a, what that has a slight crunch on the outside and it's chewy in the center. Yeah. But it's like a soft cookie, <laughs> period. And then you get to the middle and it's not like ice cream, but it's like, Not as thin as like cream, but it, it's, I can't describe it. I don't know, the stuff in the middle is amazing. Mm, 
I just got a really good bite that tasted just like Snickers, though. But oh. the thing is with Snickers, the Snickers is like really... It's the Snickers bar, that's why. That's been into a Snickers bar. Definitely get the Snickers macaron. I'll do it again. Go hit some rides over at Disneyland together yep. on our last night. Our second night, last night, and go home and see the kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of new um, for International Women's Day. They got mini here at the front, and we never see mini. So that's pretty cool because that's kind of like a, uh, once in a, I don't want to say once in a lifetime, but very, 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 very limited amount of time that's ever available like that. Thank you guys for hanging out with us and letting us try something completely new and different that you're not used to. And we're going to actually get back to filming these outros with the kids. I've just been really busy lately. So thank you guys again. We'll see you guys on the next video. And I'm looking forward to some really fun stuff that uh, we got to see from the opening of Toontown. Okay. Baby Swimmer Maxwell's.